getting on the plane. Thank you, American Airlines, for letting the military go first. Oh, yeah. Bonus. Hi, everyone. This is Dennis and Anne again from GTFO Plan. We are still working on our videos to let you know what the great big reveal is, hence we have our GTFO ship still covered. <laughs> uh, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about the Nizen 500 SE. Which is a three cabin on suite. It is the most popular layout because, as I said earlier, it's for couples that have retired and are going cruising. We take the porthole and we dedicate it to the owner, and then we have two ensuite double cabins on the starboard side. Uh, it's simply a boat that we love. Oh my god, we yeah. just kept coming back and back to this boat. You've got the tracks for an enclosure all the way around. Yep. Start thinking, oh, we want this boat, and then we'd come back to the Nizna. It's just amazing. Enrica, Kevin, Malcolm, and all the others were so incredible to work with. Their customer service is the best we have seen. We've seen the boat many times, because like I said, we love it. Uh, Rika is one of the people that helps you with all the boutique features, customizations, and she was incredibly responsive. Different samples, colors um, that you can do on your boat. As long as we keep it out of U.S. waters, do we get to avoid the import tax? Yes, I think go into U.S. waters because you're flying a, a Isle of Man flag. Oh, totally. I mean, they're very open to customization ideas and making it our boat, uh, which obviously it's going to be. And if you're spending a lot of money, you want it to be your boat. Exactly. Um, and you want that customer service after you purchase the boat. You don't want to just be wooed in the beginning and then not get the support. And Nizna definitely provides yeah, that. Yeah. They're just, we cannot say enough great things about them. Uh, UV strip on it. And we put a UV strip onto the onto the oh, screecher okay. as well. So that when we put the code zero up, we can leave it up there. We don't have to keep on taking it down all the that time. That is so nice. Well, is and it is very project? easy. It's easy to take down, but it's just nice to just leave up. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. and the sun's not going to whack it. And is that a rafta? Uh, uh, anchor? anchor, yeah. So this this boat, we need a, a 30 kilogram rafta anchor. We okay. put a 40 on there. Sorry. So it's 10 kilograms overrated for the boat, which is great. We get to a place, you drop the anchor, you can climb off the boat and you know nothing's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, it's yeah. about time someone oversizes yeah. the anchor. And I mean, it, it doesn't look out of proportion, does it? So it's all no. good. Yeah. And those rafters no. are just so good. Eh? We always good. have planned, I mean, your anchor is everything oh, when you're, yeah. you know, living aboard. Yeah. And yeah. It's just nice. Just nice. Yeah. Very nice. And uh, you can drop that anchor and you can, you can just relax. It's great. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very and good. how much chain? We've got 100 meters of chain on you. Yeah. So oh, we've got cool. a load of chain. Just oh. walk around and enjoy the, enjoy the experience. Comes our skipper, as you know. Yeah, the helm was integrated into the cockpit. So you could also enclose the helm. So everything was nice and cozy there. But I think one of the things that I love the most is the dinghy accessibility. And what you had around the back side of the cockpit is you had another little walkway. So when the dinghy was fully hoisted, what you could do is just literally be at arm's level to remove things, put things in. I ain't yeah. getting any younger. <laughs> so that's just that much more wear and tear on your body, trying to hunch over and lift stuff. Even though we don't catch fish. We're gonna. We're gonna. Here's a fish tray with a drain, so you can just hose it off. Yep. And it looks like you have a water, and you can sit here and take your shower, right? Yep. But that's what that is, things, as you're walking, the handrails here, but then it transitions because you're coming down and into the boat. When you look at just some of the simple ratios of displacement versus length versus sail area, it's a middle of the pack boat, which is great, you know, yeah. um, for, for what you're getting across the board. That's, that's still very good. Why well, get a production boat when you can spend the same amount of money and get this boat, which is so well built? Quite easily. Okay? You're yeah. going to do six knots easily. A lot of the time you're going to be doing between eight, nine, possibly ten knots. Sure. Uh, and the sea conditions are right, and the wind, obviously, if the wind's, on, especially on this boat, if the wind's flying slightly forward of the mast, I can be doing 12 knots, which I've done regularly, okay, and, okay. We, and sustained. I mean, it's not, a, yeah. and, and not running in current. You're not going to be doing right. 12 knots. 
So the, uh, uh, for, for, a, for a boat that's going to be in the islands, that's comfortable for people to live on, when you get out and you do the sailing thing, it's going to do it. It's going to Even the cabinetry is waffle weaved, so you get ventilation. Ventilation is so important. You know, all of the woodwork here, you'll see is, this is craftsman's kind of stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, this is not cookie cutter kind of stuff. And every single lattice door or every single door in this entire boat is handcrafted individually. Every door is made individually. So, you know, the kind of detail that we go to in terms of just the fitting of that door is a significant number of hours in terms of man hours. It's a journey of about two kilometers or what, one and a half miles from our factory to the water. Mm -hmm. That's on a trailer, road trailer. And before we do that, we don't fix these kind of bulkhead trims because you, of necessity with a, with a uh, catamaran, get some flexing. Right. And so to avoid any damage there, we put it on the water, we step the mast, and then we do these trims. Sure. They focus on continuous improvement. Customer gives them an idea, and they incorporate that as standard. Everything was standard right. on this boat. Everything was included, even lithium batteries. Yeah, it was very up to up to par too with the current technology yeah. that you'll see in the boat. We also really pride ourselves in terms of the work that we do, the neatness of the work. So oh, they're all strapped and oh, it's so nice, refreshing. Yeah, that is phenomenal. It's basically a system that is app driven, where you've got every single item of equipment on your boat. Yeah, its manual is available on the app. I'm sold. It, each <laughs> each item has got its serial number yeah. and is monitored in terms of its service interval, yeah. whether it's gallons or hours or whatever it is. Yeah. The app will tell you when that comes up. Yeah. All your information, you have a All problem. in one place. Yeah. We do also give you all of the physical manuals as well. There was a TV in the master cabin, but it was showing all your B and G instruments. Absolutely, yeah. On, on so. both in, on both TVs, yeah. In the saloon and in the uh, yeah. master bedroom, so you can duplicate. Oh, here's the engine. The reason why we put it here, and it's a top loader. Yeah. You can have it your side as well. It's got lots of packing space here. Okay. Oh, fantastic! All the plumbing is already in place. Okay. So it's it's very easy for us to do. Uh, you can also store your dive cylinders here. It's the perfect spot for your dive cylinders to yep. store. Yeah. If you if you're scared because in some cases they give rust if it's outside exposed right. to all. Right. This is your escape hatches, right. and basically if anything in an event of a capsize and you go out, you will end up on your trampoline where you can clip onto. Right. So, right. Yeah, because yeah. he's on the Yeah. <laughs> Well, and what's really nice is it looks like you can keep it open all the time. So even if you have rain, you don't have to close up the boat. Yes, and 100%. also you leave it open. We right. leave our boat in the sizes with this open because it's easy for the wind to... Right. The, the, the so yeah. 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 yeah, and the hatches totally. are a nice size, and it looks like you have the built-in screens. Yes. So which is nice for the bugs. And a blockout. And a blockout oh, for the wow. sun. Yeah. yeah. So, the starboard cabin, step up, very easy access. Separate shower, that four peak storage we've already shown. Great deep cabinets behind the mirrors here. Everything really fits and yeah. is well built even after doing a passage, which you don't see in a lot of production boats. The outlet stand, you loved the outlet stand. Yeah, that was stand. super nice too. It just popped into the woodwork and it popped vertically. So you don't have this long outlet strain that or string that's just kind of blocking everything. The other thing too, with regards to things being accessible, the little technical room where you would open, you can get to it from on top of the deck or from inside the cabin. And that's where your generator, your battery bank, some of your other electrical stuff was uh, easily accessible as well. The winch speed to bring up the mainsail, we've noticed in a lot of charters, mm -hmm. is so incredibly slow that it's unsafe. We're coming to let it come on the front. So there were several folks on the demo sail, and it never felt crowded. You can see here in the cockpit all the people that are around. Yeah, there's plenty of space. I love the wooden table in the cockpit.
it's, it's a gorgeous boat. Uh, so then we went back to the Miami Boat Show this February, and we had another opportunity to do a demo sail. Gorgeous weather, great winds. I think it was about 15, 20 knots consistently. Yeah. And the boat, I think, was right around 8, 10 knots. While we were under motor, you know, we took the opportunity to walk around the boat, and it's it's quiet. I mean, you're not going to hear those engines, even though they sit underneath so the aft cabins. They're underneath, but it's so well insulated that it's, it just purrs. <laughs> You just have to remember the engines are under the half berths. Uh, not bad. I guess I'm used to our Catalina, which is quite loud, so this seems pretty easy. Little things too, you know, to hold your door open are the little springs up at the top. Um, you know, the, when you're sailing, it's kind of irritating when it keeps on closing <laughs> the hole. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. The storage is just phenomenal mm. on this boat. Okay. Oh, there's your printer. Yeah. A lot of people like this this facility over here. This is a. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is genius. We love those. That's a great use of space. Yeah. Now, is this wired for 220 or so, 110? So, it's up to you. Yeah, you, you can, can do both. Yeah. You can actually do both. Yeah. Do but both. this is a DC boat, so it's a 24 volt DC boat. Okay. okay. And everything is then converted. Or inverted. Right. Oh, right. Right. So all your 220 and whoops Sorry, that was and 110 <laughs> is available. Yeah. Okay. Now what 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 size are the engines on this? This these are young. Have they opened up the engines for you? No. no. no? We'll, yeah, go, we'll do that. We'll go to the starboard side and open okay. up. Okay. Yeah. Has a hydraulic lift. You don't have to move your mattresses to get in. And look at this access. And it's safe. It's not off the um, back of the boat. You can do it underway, repairs. You can switch the light on and off. <laughs> <laughs> what sails are you going to be choosing? At the, sure. at the moment, we've got a squeecher, which we use plenty, especially coming from South Africa. Yeah. We use it a lot uh, because a lot of it is downwind sailing. Right. We, we do swing it, and, and, then when, and I, that's when the last time I did 12 knots. We did it for three days, flat out, 12 knots, oh. constant average, which nice. is great for a, for a 12 and a half time. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing that's really important that I have never found in any of your production catamarans is a responsive helm and the ability to point higher to the wind. And we could really see living, it's, it's made to live aboard between all the storage and how well built things are and everything is thought out like the fish table in the back mm. and the way the grill is done. It was just phenomenal. The, yeah. the one thing we did forget in the excitement of the demo sale at the Miami Boat Show, we forgot to film the performance. So we're including the polar charts, which were right on target. They were not exaggerated. Yeah. We did a few points of sale, and they all matched up. Can we get a little room. tour of the galley area? Mm -hmm. So you can move this up and down. You, this is really customized. Yeah. This is maybe not so, you know, it's quite high. Yeah. But there's a lot of storage on this side. So if you yeah. start from this, the moment you walk from the cockpit into... You basically okay. have yeah, your... Yeah, that is such a slick design. Because people don't have to come inside. They right. can just yes. come here and they can throw a bottle yeah. or throw the trash away. Right. On that side, let's say you're working here, you don't want to walk around to get... So right. you can then... It's accessible from right. over here. Yeah. You just take that away. Right. You know? Then you can do with this space whatever you want. So I want to do the next one. I want to actually put glass in here. Oh, right. So that it doesn't look so bulky. Mm -hmm. So we put, I put foil here and I lay all my salad and fish out here so people can come and help themselves yeah. and go and sit down. Yeah, I like, it. this is not the same layout as Albert, but I like to have my cutlery and crockery here as well. So when you lay the table, yeah, you can, it's you can just, yeah, yes. put your dishes right out. Exactly, you have a combination of a, a deep piece and a fridge. Okay. Okay, at the moment it's empty. And then here, there's a deep freeze. Oh, that's what this is over here. So okay. that's your deep freezer over yes. there. But remember, you can also bring that closer if you want to, because we can mm -hmm. configure it. Yeah. In the cockpit, you still have your ice maker, uh -huh. and you have a cooler box. With all the right. um, the polar bottles and things, right. you can basically do whatever you want here. We can close it here. Absolutely. No, no, no. This is just all packing space, um, storage. Very nicely, the woodwork. I want to comment. Drops. That's a perfect fit. Make another bed right here. 
Thank you again for watching our videos and stay tuned. We have a couple more coming up. Yes. And then we'll have the great reveal of the boat we put money down on. Yeah. And we'll remove the date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what people twice it's happened to me. Come through, sir. What is the reason down. for that raised up step there? It's to separate the companionway. Otherwise, you go straight up. We'll put a, a, a fireman's pole here to get down there. Or you what? Got to the <laughs> yeah. I promise you, sir. So I was asked, what, what is the reason for that raised up area down there? <laughs> it's where the steps are. What is it? Steps so you can get down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. How'd you end up in Dallas's boat? Uh, well, they were following us. Yeah. And then when they went back to Madagascar, I came back and took them, was delivering the next boat and ended up with them in, in, uh, in San Salina. Okay. And I had a crew bail there, so we had lots of food left over, so we gave them lots of food. We, gave, we had a lovely barbecue on the island. <laughs>